Hello, I'm Peter Kent. Welcome to Global Television. Global Television, 1999. The public's appetite for news, information, and entertainment has never been greater. The network has been called a lot of things over the past 25 years, but never complacent, never dull. This was how Global Television entered the world, January 6, 1974. The station was the brainchild of Al Bruner, an innovator in Canadian broadcasting. Bruner believed that television was a forum to showcase the creative talents of the people it served. Since Global didn't appear on the air till 4.30 each afternoon, it had to be extremely creative in order to grab those viewers. The station's programming was handed over to independent Canadian producers. Global's news service was anything but conventional. We were the first in Ontario to use nightly news updates, and were one of the few to have a 6 p.m. newscast. We also had dual anchors in different cities to distinguish us from any other station. Here is the evening edition of Global News. Peter Deborah anchored in Ottawa with Peter Truman in Toronto. They led a solid but small news team of only 65 people. But it soon became clear that some of our first programming endeavors were too ambitious. Many were shelved in order for the network to concentrate on just staying afloat. But the global spirit endured. New owners emerged and the station entered the fierce battle to forge its own identity. Hello again, everyone. I'm Mike Aspen. When it comes to sports, Global has a proud tradition. Sports Probe was the first show in the country to go head-to-head -head with Canada's greatest athletes. Hi, Stan Kowalski as God is my witness news, Channel 6, 22, Cable 3 here at the scene of the North Tonawanda Airport disaster. Now, yours truly became Canada's first news humorist, and with traveling shows such as Winterio, Global established itself as a station for all of the province. Touching yourself, because the Second City Television Network now begins its programming day. Hey, sweetheart, where's the doctor? I am the doctor. Global Studios became the home of one of the first and legendary comedy shows, Second City TV. Global's first real programming coup came in 1977 when we purchased the Canadian rights to an ABC miniseries about slavery that no other network would touch. Roots went on to become a milestone in television history. We took a cue from our American cousins and created our own lifestyle show. That's Life not only became a hit, but it made household names of hosts Ann Romer and Peter Feniak. Before the decade was over, Global would come under new ownership once again. And that meant a new vision. We became a major distributor of British and American programming. The 1980s brought huge innovations in communications technology. Satellites, microwaves allowed Global and its Canadian partners to pool resources. Global production facilities were open round the clock to keep up with the demands of new Canadian independent productions, programs we were selling around the world. Talk shows, children's programs, and an array of news and variety shows all helped to develop Global's identity with Ontario viewers. <laughs> In 1981, the network gave birth to Sportsline, the granddaddy of all sports highlight shows. In 1984, a three-show, 90-minute news format emerged in order to bring our news to more and more viewers. For the last interview on the desk, I asked Susan what she had planned for it. I thought it would be a perfect idea for a bar. I have in my hand here, Richard, a thing called the Budget in Brief. This small document is enough to cost Michael Wilson his job as finance minister. New scoops, specialized reporting, and some of the country's most respected anchors were what viewers came to expect from our news team. You remember her tonight with Robert Fisher. 
Strange in a way, since uh, we've never taken ourselves too seriously. Alberta, Alberta. I'll have details at 11. <laughs> Two women are suing a Baltimore amusement park after a talking tree called one child a prime, <laughs> a prime ape's son. The incident occurred October 27th during a special pre-Halloween event in which an employee dressed up as a tree. <laughs> Global's formula for success in the 80s stick with tried and true favorites instead of picking up new offerings from the American networks. The late 80s brought more changes, some good, some sad. That's not news, but that's true, it's reality. Anchor Peter Truman left Global in 1987 for the expanding world of freelance journalism. Good night for Global News. We brought the Stanley Cup final into Ontario homes in 1987 and began airing Molson Maple Leaf Hockey in 1988. A weekly public affairs show was added to the lineup. Focus Ontario began in August 88. Good evening, I'm Robert Trisher. The Sunday shop. The show continues to be a mainstay in our lineup. A shareholder shakeup in 1989 became a turning point for Global. George, on my mind, you gotta know it. Yeah, but I don't gotta play it. You know who you're talking to? You? The eloquent, driven entrepreneur from Winnipeg, Israel Asper, assumed control of the station, and we became a member of the CanWest family. Most employees remember the 1980s as the decade of the revolving anchor chair. In 1992, Izzy convinced one of Canada's most distinguished broadcast journalists to come home. Peter Kent left the U.S. to help develop and then anchor our new first national newscast. Peter's no stranger to Global, having been one of our original reporters in 1974. Do you know that? Referendum 92. A Canadian choice. Of course, the road to developing a national image has seen a few potholes. To, uh, to break away for a moment until we can uh, until we can connect. Well, uh, as Premier. Uh, and in Quebec, Liberal Michel Bissonnette is receiving treatments in a hospital near Montreal after he was found lying beside a train track in northern Italy last week. Italian police say this. Bissonnette must have mistaken the exit door for the door to a toilet on the high-speed express train. <laughs> Bissonnette said he had no relation. <laughs> Straighten up. Bissonnette says he has no recollection of wanting to go to the toilet or of even falling off the train and still doesn't know what happened. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the 90s ushered in the era of huge American must-see television. Global's nightly lineups turned into powerhouses with such shows as Seinfeld, Cheers, Friends, and Frasier, making us ratings champion for most of the decade. Can West Global exploded out of the world scene in the 90s with purchases of the dynamic channel 10 in Australia, TV3 in New Zealand, and our brand new TV3 in Ireland. And the Can West Global family expanded yet again in 1997 with the launch of Global Quebec, a coveted piece for Asper's dream of a third national network. Good evening, and welcome to Global News. Can West also became the proud owners of Prime TV, a cable specialty channel showcasing the very best in television and films from the past. We surprised viewers in August 1997 by giving ourselves a facelift out with the Global G and in with the brand new, um, yeah, art, art, that's what it is. Changes have been many. The constant has been committed, award-winning journalists dedicated to bringing their news home to the viewers of this province. The 1990s have also been Global's decade to shine in the area of Canadian productions. It shows such as Sci Factor, The Outer Limits, and the Gemini Award-winning Ready or Not and Traders. This powerhouse drama set in the world of investment banking was a milestone for Global. It was one of our most ambitious projects and it proved to the world that creative, intelligent and thought-provoking television is possible in Canada. The 
next 25 years will bring a new millennium and new opportunities to expand within Canada. One thing is certain, the global family will continue to break new ground in television programming and broadcast technology. We look forward to you, our viewers, being part of that family as we reach new heights and uh, have some fun along the way. Oh, oh boy. Oh, Victor takes over. He's not going to rock the boat. Wow. Oh. Um, now for something completely different. Half a billion have grown in cheer. What's the purpose in growing the huge boat? What's the purpose in growing the Are there many of these? This, are there many? Are there many? There aren't too many companies. This is an unusual business. 